Hi, this is Amy Ford. Welcome back to Introduction to Microsoft Excel 2007. This is part three. As a quick reminder, you'll want to have Microsoft Excel open on your computer because you're going to be switching back and forth between your web browser and Excel. If you need to pause the video, just click on the pause button in the bottom left corner of the video screen. Also, don't forget the extra tools for this class that are on this site as well. What we're going to learn in this class, we are going to learn the basics of entering data into the spreadsheet. We're going to learn how to edit the data that we've put on our spreadsheet. And we're going to learn how to resize the columns. Now the first step in entering the data is to click in the cell that we want to put information in. So I'm just going to select a random cell here. You're going to see the cell name show up in the name box. It's off to the left hand corner here and the selected cell is going to have a dark rectangle around it. That's what indicates that it is selected. Now once you've selected the cell you can just type in text or numbers, whatever you like. Okay. You're going to see what you typed will appear also in the formula bar uh, up towards the top of the workbook grid here. And if you want, you can type there once you've selected the cell. It does the same thing as typing in the cell. Let's see here. So I'd click in the cell to select it, click in the formula bar, and then I can start typing. In order to move down one cell, after you're finished typing into your selected cell, just press the Enter key. So if I type in that cell and then I press Enter, it will move down one cell. You can also use the down arrow key on the keyboard to move down. In order to move right one cell, after you're finished typing, press the tab key on your keyboard or you can just use the right arrow key. It's just usually easier to use the enter or tab keys because your hands are already set up on that part of the keyboard. You can use the up arrow key or the left arrow key to move around on the workbook grid as well. Now what if you need to edit what you typed? There's two ways to do that. You can click on or move with the keyboard. Okay. Um, and you're just going to move to the cell that you want to edit and once it's highlighted with that dark rectangle you can type straight over what you've already got there. Okay, you can see, see how that works. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can double click in the box and then you would move around with the arrow keys to get to the exact part that you want to edit so that you don't have to type in everything all over again just change the part that you need to change. Now what if you can't see what you've typed into a cell because it's too long? Well, let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and type a couple things in here. Okay, you can see that in cell D12 here. Um, I typed in much more than I can see right now because the next cell is full and it's kind of covering up the text that I typed in. So what I can do is resize the column or the row to fit what I've typed. And there's a couple ways to do that. The first way is to go up to the top where the columns are. Okay, these column headers across the top here. Place your cursor between the two column headers okay and you're gonna see the cursor change It's gonna change into what's called the resize tool and you can see it's sort of like a a bar with a right arrow and a left arrow it's got sort of arrows side to side so once it's turned into the resize tool you're gonna to click on that line with your mouse you're gonna hold down the mouse button and drag that line to the side until you have the row or column at the size that you want now, say that you've got like a bunch of data typed in already and you want to resize that column. Excel can size it automatically to the longest piece of data that you've typed. So how, how you'll do that. Again, just like we did in the last little piece, we're going to place the cursor between the, uh, between the two columns right here on the line. We're going to watch it turn into the resize tool. And then we're going to double click that line there. All right, two times real fast with the mouse. And then it just does an automatic resize to the widest item. You can see that this small piece of text here that I've typed in is the widest item that is in that column. These numbers are all much shorter. 
Now there's even a third way. You can select the row or column that you want to resize. What you would do is click on the header of either the column at the top or the row on the left side or you can even select the entire worksheet if you want to. To select the whole worksheet it's between the A header and the 1 header. Okay, It's this little box that's up here in the left corner just under the name box. Click on that and it selects the entire worksheet. We're going to go up top to our toolbar and we're going to move over until we get to the cells group Okay, right here. We're going to click on Format, and under Cell Size, if we go to Auto Fit Column Width, it will automatically fit every single column. Let's click on that there, and you can see that Column E got resized to be a little bit smaller to fit the number that was in that column. Now all your columns are resized for easy reading. So a quick review. In this section, we've learned about entering data into your Excel spreadsheet, editing the data that's there, and then resizing things so that you can see all your data very easily. In the next class, we're going to get into formatting cells, number format and merging, and autofill, which is a really useful and time-saving tool. So thanks for watching, and we are going to pick up again in part four.